What's up guys? Welcome back to another server rack build video type thing. Uh, today we are going to um, work on the switch because I have some plans for it. So I've got pretty much everything unplugged from it other than stuff that I'm not using right now. Like this is for the uh, NAS box. I also got a label maker so I labeled everything. So everything has its IP and host name and stuff on it. Like that and that and that and stuff and so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna switch this it's currently in unmanaged mode to Dell Power Connect 2724 gigabit switch this is going to be changed to managed mode so I can set up some VLANs and uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this up so that the odd row is gonna be my VLAN 1 for uh, this router which is my Bell router for my internet and all my like my internet from my apartment, I'll go through going through that, and then I'm gonna set the bottom row, or maybe just a couple, maybe like these four. I don't actually need that many, or maybe these eight. But I'm gonna set that up in a second VLAN for um, this router, which its IP is currently that. If it would focus, um, but we're gonna set up uh, a second. Um, second network so that I can screw around with this router and some switch settings and stuff without screwing up the internet for everyone else in my apartment. So that's the plan today. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start by connecting number one port ugh, on the switch to my laptop. Which, so that's going to that. And it's connected. The other ones don't matter. I've got everything else plugged into just the router right now because then I can still have internet on my desktop and everyone else in the house can have internet still. Um, so that's connected. And then I just need to get rid of the wireless because I don't need that. Um, disconnect. I haven't changed this to manage mode yet. So to do that, we're going to get something pointy like that. No, that's not going to work. How about, do I have anything that's pointy up here? Paper clip or something? How big the hole? We need to press that button in there. So we need like a tack or something. Which I have one in the wall right there. That'll work. So we're going to change this to manage mode by poking this. Click that button. And the manage mode light is going to turn on. And it's going to reboot. And then power's on still. Let's put this tack back. And in there. And now the manage light will flash for 90 seconds, and then it'll be switched onto manage mode, and then we'll be able to connect to it through the web interface through port 1. Okay, so now that's done. We've got the manage mode light is on, and we've got port number 1 connected to my laptop, and I switched my laptop to have a static IP of 192.168.2.10 and we went to 2.1 in the browser we load that up there we go our focus and now we have the web interface so the username is admin and no password should work it doesn't why is it capital admin admin there we go. No such user. Okay. Back. So it was lowercase admin and no password. There we go. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but here we go. We're now in the web interface. So we're going to set this up so it works on the other network so we don't have to connect to it like this. Now we need to go to our IP addressing. So let's change this. We don't want DHCP because our routers are going to handle that. This thing's IP address is going to be... Um, I don't have the other network set up yet, so it's going to be 192.168.2.2. I don't think that's been used on my network. So let's do that. It's a slash 24. Default gateway is going to be 192.168.2.1, which is the router. Uh, we don't have any DHCP stuff, so let's apply changes. That'll probably... Please enter the new address. New okay, yeah. So... This probably won't work anymore, and we gotta go to 2.2. There we go. There. 
Okay, so now that we have the uh, the um, admin interface up on the desktop here, um, we are going to set up our VLAN uh, membership for our second VLAN. So what we're going to do here, well, right now VLAN 1 is the default. Um, every single port right now is a member of it, including all of the uh, flag groups. Um, that's link aggregation. We're actually going to do that in another video probably because I want to set up some of uh, some link aggregation between because I have dual NICs on all of the servers. I need another one for my desktop, but that's not going to happen yet. Uh, so we're going to create a second VLAN of ID2. And let's apply that so it creates it. Okay, so now we have that. Um, and then we want to set the ports that we want. So I'm going to use the bottom row, which is the even row. And then I'm only going to use the ones from 10 to 20. So we're going to set those to untagged because they're going to be actually physically plugged in. Um, 24 doesn't matter because that is a combo port, which I'm not going to use. Uh, I don't think I need 8. I don't think I need more than that many anyway. So 10 to 22 even are going to be part of VLAN 2. So let's hit apply changes. That gives us that. And then we can switch back to VLAN 1 and check this out. Um, is it 10, 12. So I don't know if I can get rid of these or what. Unless the default always stays like that, because I can't remove this VLAN either. That is very loud. Please go away, motorcycle. Um, other than that, I think we're done. But we want these untagged. The difference between untagged and tagged uh, for the outgoing packets, um, that's if you're using, say, say if we were making a stack of these, um, these switches with the combo ports, um, and say we have switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, and you wanted them to communicate between each other and you had multiple VLANs, you'd have the outgoing packets tagged on those so that it knows which VLAN it belongs to when it gets to the, the next switch. So it's if you have multiple packets going out of an interface that are parts of different VLANs. But these are all going to be connected um, physically, so that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so that's going to be our 10. Dot Two dot ten dot something slash. I think I'm gonna use. Actually, let's pull this up. Uh, this is basic diagram thing I made up in GNS3 just to so just just sort of visualize it. I guess right now we have uh, my first router, which is the one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one network, which is um, or dot two dot one is the the gateway for that. That's connected to the internet. That's my Bell router, and then we have my Cisco eighteen forty one. Um, which I'm going to use as my like experimental LAN type thing, and it's going to be 10.2.10.1. Um, and then we have the switch. I only have one switch, so that's what the point of these VLANs are. Uh, and then I've got the main PC, which is this desktop. Uh, I just have that's what it's my static. I have it set as a static IP uh, outside of the DHCP range. Um, that I don't. Uh, that's what the IP is going to be on the other network once I get a second NIC for this thing, but right now I only have a single gigabit NIC on this PC. And then the rest of these are all going to be connected. Um, these are what are currently the IPs for these servers, and I have a second NIC hooked up, and they were just, um, I think this one was 8.9, uh, 8.8, and 8.7, just for, I was going to have it set for link aggregation. But um, for now, I'm going to actually have these connected to the other network through the second uh, interface. So we've got two, three, and four for the servers. Uh, and then we've got the default ones that I have set up already. And then we've got my uh, access point that's out in the living room, and that's statically set at that IP. So we're going to have, uh, yeah, so I said a slash 28 um, subnet, which is going to give me a slash 28. That's 14 usable IPs, so it's going to be... Um, dot zero is unusable and dot 16 no dot 15 is uh the broadcast we have one to 14 so one's going to be our default gateway and then we've got two to 14 to 
split up between anything that I want to connect to that uh, that router. So so far that's what I've got, uh, and then we're gonna go back over to the switch and uh, and see what we can uh, what we can do by plugging stuff in. I don't have a uh, console cable for my um, Cisco router yet, so I can't really do anything with it. Uh, so the second um, LAN isn't going to be set up, but I'll do that in another video as well as doing some link aggregation stuff. Um, I just need another NIC for my desktop before I can actually, you know, test that more, um, more thoroughly, I guess. So then we can use that and have it set to do some load balancing, which would be kind of cool, moving big files. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll head back over to the rack. Okay, so it's getting a little dark in here, but I'm going to finish this up. Um, what we've got now, we've got the VLAN set up to uh, these even ports, so we're going... Um, oh, actually, I guess these combo ports do have actual ports on here. I didn't actually know that. But um, right now, uh, this bottom row here is all our second VLAN, and then I've got to... I can't do it right now because I don't have the cables to move it, but... Um, this cable, this cable, all these bottom ones here are going to be moved over to that VLAN. Also, this router, which uh, I'm getting the mounting hardware for, is actually going to be mounted up here in my uh, first U slot area up here. So then we can connect that router to the switch as well. And then I can screw around with the router and all the settings on that and, I don't know, play with some stuff, experiment. Um... So yeah, so next time we're going to check out some link aggregation between this box, which isn't actually on right now. I could turn that on, but I don't need it right now. Um, and yeah, okay, so yeah, so we got dual NICs in this one, dual gigabit. Um, and then we've got, I think we have four gigabits in this server, so I can have dual. So that's probably what we're going to do for link aggregation. We're going to put two... Uh, Nick on the media server on the first uh, VLAN, and then we're going to put two on the second VLAN and have two set up in link aggregation. And then on this server, I don't think has an extra one. I think it only has a 100 meg NIC in it already. So that one's just going to be left out, but it doesn't really matter because I don't use that for anything currently anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy this kind of informative video. I don't know. If it was interesting, I've just been playing around with this stuff. And if you like these videos, you know, give it a like and uh, let me know. And I'll move on to some more interesting stuff later on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.